Seoul's top diplomat called on the world to get more serious about the threats posed by North Korea. The foreign minister also highlighted Pyongyang's nuclear program is in its final stage of development following the recent nuke test. Our Kwon so starts us off. North Korea is now in the final stage of nuclear weaponization, according to South Korea's top diplomat, Yoon Byung-se. In his keynote speech to the UN General Assembly Thursday, Minister Yoon said the North's two nuclear and 22 missile tests this year alone show the regime's weapons program has neared a tipping point. The latest nuclear test was the strongest ever. The test in Tobol was also significantly reduced from average three years to eight months. Even North Korea's unpredictability and its penchant for provocations, its next nuclear provocations may come even sooner than we expect. With North Korea ignoring its international obligations, Minister Yoon said a fundamental question is whether North Korea actually deserves to be a member of the United Nations. I believe it's high time to seriously reconsider whether North Korea is qualified as a peace-loving UN member, as many countries are already questioning. Seoul's top diplomat also stressed the regime is wasting money on its weapons development while disregarding the needs of its own people, as it conducted its fifth nuclear test while the country was suffering some of its worst flooding in decades. Yoon also called on the UN to take a closer look at the North's overseas forced labor program. Prior to his speech, Minister Yoon told reporters that it's time for the UN Security Council to take its discussions on North Korea's human rights violations a step further and take, quote, meaningful action. According to an official, the UN Security Council is mulling whether to include Pyongyang's human rights abuses on a new sanctions resolution currently under discussion following the North's fifth nuclear test. While it's the UN Human Rights Council that usually deals with human rights issues, the UN Security Council's approach has been under the microscope for some time, as it is the only organ of the United Nations that has the authority to issue binding resolutions to its members. Kwon Arirang News.